King Casey O'Neill. She is kind enough to join us via the Magic of Zoom. Hello, Casey. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Ariel? I'm doing uh, great. It's all love on my side, too, just so you know. No love, hate here. All, all right. love. I mean, sometimes the text messages, I can't really decipher if it's love, hate, if it's, you know, love, hate. It's just a bit of fun, you know. I think I'm as mean as I can be to my friends, so oh. I guess that makes you my I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Okay, so uh, thanks for doing this before you head out. I'm assuming you uh, you head out tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow morning we fly. So one extra day in Vegas, I don't mind that, but definitely ready to go and get the fight week started. This is a big one, right? I mean, it feels a little bit different, this one. It's not Apex, big pay-per-view, big arena, big crowd. Does it feel different for you? Definitely. This is what I've been waiting for. And this is what, you know, I, I was thinking the UFC was going to be like when I first got into the UFC. So finally getting my chance to fight in front of the crowd and fight on like a big card and just have like the fight week vibe around, have the fans there, have the proper way in. Um, I'm excited for all of it. I can't wait. When they offered you Roxanne, what did you think? At first, I really thought I was going to get someone a little higher ranked than that. Like, um, But I was happy with it. Um, obviously, she's a veteran of the sport. She's been around. And anybody who watches the sport knows who Roxanne is and what she's done for female MMA. So it's awesome to be able to fight somebody who I was watching growing up, you know, doing this before females did it as a thing. So it's super cool to be her last fight. And uh, I'll make sure that her retirement fight is a good one. Uh, and so then when you when you found out about the retirement angle, how do you feel about that? Um, I'm not sure. You know, in my mind, I feel like she's got one foot out the door then. So it makes me think, you know, like if you know you're going to retire, do you fight as hard and everything like that? Obviously, we're going to see. But um, yeah, in my mind, I'm like, oh, so she's basically saying she's done already quitting before she gets in the fight. Um, but I wish her well on the rest of her life after fighting and everything. I'm sure she'll go on to do great things. You know, when you hear about a retirement fight, I agree with you. You 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 think those things, but also it's like I don't know. And and I'm not a fighter, so I'm not going up against someone who is uh, saying they retire. But like, is there any weird, I don't know, remorse or anything? Like, you know, everyone everyone wants to see someone go out on a, on a good note, but you're the one that's going to ruin the party for them. Like, those, those are there any mixed feelings there, or is there maybe feelings of I love the idea of ruining the party. I love the idea of handing her a loss on her way out, that sort of thing, like in a sort of sinister way. Um, and I don't really have any feelings when it comes to it, to be honest. A fight's a fight in my mind, and I don't have any friends when it comes to being in the cage, so I don't feel bad for her, or I don't you know, feel happy that I'm spoiling her party. I feel no ways about it. All I know is I'm going to go in there and win and finish the fight like I do every single time. Um, I don't feel any differently about it, I don't think. I'll just try and make it an early retirement for her. Do you uh, do you cross paths with her at all? Do you ever see her in Vegas? No, I don't think I've ever run into Roxy before. Okay. But um, her best friend actually does train at our gym now. Oh, my. Which uh, has been fun. So, yeah. Who Who's that? Uh, Serena, I think her name is. So she trains at Extreme Couture now, but she's so nice it's just hard to navigate you know not trying to cross paths with people too much i try and uh stay away from friendships with people that i could possibly fight or people that are friends with people i'm fighting sure. so it's been fun trying to navigate that you don't want her spying on you and relaying information back and all that stuff i actually went and did around sparring with her so that you know in my mind she was going to go home and tell roxy like oh my god be careful <laughs> made sure to go a little bit extra hard in that room do you think she did yeah, probably. I hope so. Um, I hope so. When when the fight was announced, we had Roxy on the show, and I asked her about this being her retirement fight. I just want to play the clip for you and, and get your take on it, okay? Mm-hmm. Here it is. And how did you feel about the opponent? I mean, Casey O'Neill is a, is a rock star right now. She's rising up. Uh, did you like her as the opponent for your retirement fight? Uh, honestly, I say yes to everybody, so I didn't really care. I was excited at first, and now there's stuff where, like, she's training with one of my friends, and, like, oh, no. just little 
cocktail stuff that really sucks. So now I'm like, all right, I just want to friggin' fight her and get this over with. <laughs> but, um, you know, she's as good as anybody and she better be careful because everything I've ever wanted to do in a fight and haven't tried yet, I'm going to try on her. Oh so. my gosh. Like what? You guys like, better in. Can you give us a hint? I mean, flying, spinning, rolling, magic, you know, Kamehameha. I don't know. You imagine. So there you have it. She's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. Mm. How do you feel about that? Okay. Well, in my opinion, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. So I oh. think that she's going to come out and have the exact same fight that she always has, that she's had for 50 fights now. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to fall into that. And if she wants to try and do all that crazy stuff, uh, she better be ready for some crazy stuff coming back at her. Um, that's all I got to say on that. I, I like, told you about the friend thing. It's yes. been weird for both of us, I think. I bet, I bet. Definitely ready to just get the fight over with. And, you know, when uh, I feel like people are fighting Roxy these days, especially the last few fights, because she's so unassuming and, you know, maybe because people don't, you know, it's the same thing with Macy Barber a few years ago. Everyone's like, oh, you're going to steal. Like, this is a, a stepping stone fight. Is it? Is it like mm -hmm. a thing that you have to convince yourself or at least tell yourself, don't buy into this, don't listen to this? Because I think most people are picking you to win this fight, considering she's almost done, considering she has a foot out the door, it's the end of her career, you're a rising star. That could kind of get your head a little bit and, and maybe give you a false sense of confidence, right? I mean, I always have a sense of confidence about myself. For a lot of my fights, I've been the underdog. My first three fights in the UFC, I was the underdog and always knew I was better than um, the people I was fighting. And now other people know that I'm better than the people that I'm fighting. So it doesn't change anything in my head. I've always had that confidence. And uh, Roxy's definitely tough, but it's 2022. You know, tough is not exactly a skill that gets you very far in the UFC anymore. Well, I see. I mean, you're very tough. You've got that tough armor. In fact... Uh, you got that limited edition Thug Nose t-shirt I saw you training in, which, I mean, everyone wants to get that. I mean, it was just limited edition drop. I saw you training in that. We have actual photographic evidence. How did you get that? Oh, I just had a really good friend at the MMA hour that sent that one over to me. And I actually have a shirt that I'm going to return the favor with that I'm wearing right wow, now. Wow, look at that. Casey shirt. I'm going to send one over to you. So uh, make sure we get that happening. We'll do a switch. What about all the love that you got when you wore that shirt? I mean, I feel like everyone was hitting you up. I know. I had to stop wearing it because it just seemed like that was all anybody was talking about was the T-shirt. It was just but the one time. I got it packed. Yeah, I've got it packed in my suitcase ready to go with me. I'm going to wear it in Houston everywhere for you. So Are you, is it, I promised you that. Yeah, so I wanted to know where we stand on that one because I think there was a deal that if you wore it to some sort of fight week activity, you get immortalized on the wall. Is that still a thing? Are we still going with that? Yeah, it's ready. It's all washed, okay. pressed, put in my suitcase, ready to go. You press your T-shirts? No, I'm just okay. saying because right. it's a special one, you know? No, no, I appreciate that. Uh, you do have a, another King Casey one. Don't you have one like something about Queen? Or is that the same one? I just didn't see it. Where it says I Queen. have like four different shirts now. This is, the, this is my newest one that we've done. What belt is Sorry, that? Sorry, I'm just sitting in my kitchen on the chair now. But... Uh, this was actually made by Eterno, the promotion that I fought for okay. in Australia for a long time. They made a limited edition drop, so uh, they're available on Eterno Shop. But I think it's really cool, so I just got mine, and uh, I'm excited for it. I like that. But the one that with the queen, it says something clever on it, but I forget what it says now. It says, fuck queens, I'm Kane Casey. That's right. I like that one. Are you yeah. rocking that one too? Yeah, I got them all. That one's a bit more of a training shirt now, though, because it's kind of old and uh, oh. I've been putting in it forever, but I will have them all going up on my Instagram shop hopefully soon. I just got to get around to it. I'm uh, bad at doing anything that doesn't involve fighting. I get it. it takes me forever. I w don't you wish that they could let you walk out with one of those shirts? Yeah, you know, maybe one day again, but we'll see. Yeah. It's, uh, it would be nice. I'm not trying to get you in trouble or anything, but I just li I like... I'd love to fight in like a pink outfit as well one time, but... Obviously, Why can't gotta wait you? for that to happen too. Well, they don't, they don't have pink. pink. They don't offer pink. No. Why no, pink? No. I just like pink. Pink's you my know? favorite color, by the way. I don't know if you know this. Is it really? Yeah. It's the only thing that sort of makes me feel girly about the fighting side of things, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't really get my nails done or do anything like that. But wearing pink makes me feel, you know, like a girl when I'm in there. There, there have been some fighters, even male fighters back in the day that would paint their nails. Toenails. Yeah. 
You don't do that. I actually, I haven't gone yet. I'm going today. I'm going to go get it done. Oh, okay. Um, for, for the fight. Anything special? Whatever color you want, Ariel, you, you let me know and I'll make wow. sure I, I get it done. I feel like we should go with pink. I mean, you just said you like the pink. pink. No? Yeah, we can do pink. I'll do pink. Can you do that? The, the, I have a great idea. Pink and yeah. black, like one one finger pink, one finger black, one finger pink, one finger black. Is that cool? I don't know if I'm the right person to ask, but okay, I'll I'll have a look at it. Maybe, wow, maybe there's some. Well, my some favorite black. pro wrestler back in the day was Bret the Hitman Hart, who wore pink and black, the pink and black attack. So I mean, I feel well, like, my outfit's black. If that helps, pink and black. There you go. It will. It will. I feel like you don't love the black on the nails. I feel like you're trying to steer I don't, away from that. I don't love the black. I feel nice. like okay. Yeah. Why? Too morbid. Too, too, a little gothic. Gothic, okay. I'm also, yeah. yeah. Just what about just hot pink? pink. pink will do. Hot pink, not like yeah. a light pink that it looks like a white from afar, like a real bright pink. You want a real bright pink? Like I want like fluorescent pink. Okay, we can do that. All right, all right. Make this, it work. This is big. Uh, and by I the way, you. main event Australia versus New Zealand. But I feel mm -hmm. like you're more of an Izzy gal, paradigm, this and that. W which side do you go on that one? I'm st sitting on the fence for this one. Okay. I'm not saying anything. You know, oh. I'm just happy that Australian and New Zealand MMA has got to the stage where there's a card with so many of us fighting in America. You know, it's not even in Australia and we're making it happen and selling tickets and everything. And it's a big talked about fight and it's two people from my side of the world. So I'm just proud of that um, fact. And whoever wins, you know, I'm sure there'll be a third fight down the line and we'll see. Well, if Izzy, I'm, not, I'm staying on the fence. I'm, probably, on the I'm fence. probably not a third fight if Izzy wins. Um. Well, you never know. Yeah, sometimes you get. Yeah. You um. Have you ever met Rob? I don't think I've ever met Rob before. No. Izzy. But I have met Izzy. Oh. Did so you just like him? Time. Yeah. I mean, they're both super nice, likable guys. You know, I don't see how you wouldn't like Rob of all people. Just a family man. You know. So. I always, I always root for him to do well, but then when he's fighting Israel, who I also always root to do right. well, it's kind of hard. I feel, but you don't have to sit on the fence with Bam Bam, right? You obviously go with Bam Bam. No, I'm all on the Bam Bam train. Yeah. Have you ever done a shoe? I've got my shoe ready, so when he comes out the back, he can drink from my shoe. Wow. Have you ever done one? No. Why? No. I don't drink beer for one, um, so it wouldn't count. I'd probably drink some water out of one, but... Uh, you know, I'll do it. If it's like not non-alcoholic, I'll do it. Yeah. Well, why don't you drink beer? I just don't like beer. No you alcohol know, or just Australia, no beer? Um, I'll drink sometimes, but not very often at all. And I'm actually doing a whole sober year, 2022, um, because I had one drunken night in Mexico. The first time I drank in a long time. Uh -oh. That got pretty wild. So we're, we're done with alcohol okay. for a little while. How, how bad did it get? Um, I lost my tooth. I had to get what a new tooth. Oh my god! Which yeah. one? <laughs> That's all we'll see. Which one? Um, this one here. Oh my gosh! Wait, you got? I lost my tooth. It got knocked out. Um, I woke up without it. Oh my gosh! That's. Do you even know how you lost it? Mm, I'm not a hundred percent sure oh how god. it went away, but uh, we got a new one. Okay. Was it the tequila? <laughs> That's tequila, you. no more tequila. And honestly, once I found out that the bar was all inclusive, it kind of went downhill from there. Uh, so we'll just, yeah. Yeah. So you're going, was this a problem for you or was it just because of that one night? No, no, never. You know, that was like probably the first time I've drunk in two years or so. Um, but you never like those types of nights, you know? Sure. I just like to be sober and do my stupid dances that everybody seems to love. So, yeah. Oh, oh. Someone's calling you. I'm sorry. That is my, my manager calling me. In who middle, should know that I'm in the on this interview? call. I mean, golly, he helped book this interview. He should know. Tim? Yeah. Uh, you can blame Tim for that. That was Tim. I will. I will blame him. Uh, the tooth, by the way, did you get it put in in America or in uh, Mexico? Dr. Kim, Hollywood Smile in Vegas. He does oh. a lot of the fighters. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I just sent him a message and he got my tooth put in uh, pretty quickly as soon as I got back. Is it the same one or is it like, a, is that a fake tooth? No. It's a fake tooth. Can you take it in and out? <laughs> no. Okay. It looks it's very like real. It's proper fake No one would know. Yeah. If you didn't say this. I know. Thank you. He did a good job. So make sure if you ever need your tooth put in in Vegas, make sure you head over to him. He'll do it right. Hollywood smile. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I do have to ask you about one thing. You know, it's, I feel like we should clear up the whole like Joanne Calderwood thing. Do we want to talk about it or not? I mean, I feel like we need to close the loop. You're one of the favorites, but it's like the one thing that kind of lingering out there that, you know, we, we're getting behind you here, Casey, but like, it's like, I feel like it's the one thing we need to address. Should we address it or no? Sure. What is there to address though? It, it, it kind of, I feel like it went out of control, that whole thing. Like she said she didn't like you, but the parking... And and then you responded. I mean, let's be honest. It's some other reason. I'm not sure why, but uh, obviously she doesn't like me for some reason. Um, but she's never said it to my face. We've walked past each other multiple times in the PI and she seems to always have her head down. And I've been waiting to run into her actually since she said it, but she hasn't oh, no. been at the PI at the same time as me. But I'd love to know. So I guess we'll find out next time I see her. And I'll definitely be sure to ask her what, what happened there. I feel like I always rooted for her, you know, as my fellow Scot. But if that's the way she wants to go, then I'm the better Scottish fighter, clearly, at the moment. So we can fight, too, if she wants. Oh, my. Would you? Is that something you want? Sure. Next, if she wants to do it. Oh, my. I don't know if I want I'll take out Roxy, and then I'll take out Joanne. And then I think I've done the, uh, the syndicate girls. So <laughs> if she wants to do it, I'm down with it. Let's go. Are we still parking in those spots or? I never parked in those spots. So here's what happened. <laughs> I would stop to get my food and run in with my car still on and then run out and leave. There was no parking. And I'd love to point out the fact that there's 12 spots there and always empty. So you pull in, you get your food, you leave. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done it. But the public call out was pretty crazy, let's be right. honest. And then were you writing notes as her on other people's cars? Oh, I just helped her out. I was like, you know what? You're right. So I just decided, you know, Francis was part there. Claudia was part there. A couple of people were part there. So I just made them know, you know, that just to be careful in case she gets them called out on uh, the MMA or... No. And, and did you, like, did you keep doing that or was it just that one time with the notes? Well, I mean, nobody parks there anymore. So I guess she got what she wanted. Yeah. Uh, and when you wrote the notes, you signed it as her? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just spreading the news. Sure, sure, sure. You're, you're, you're being a good Samaritan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just helping her out. You know, I, I felt her message was positive and needed to be spread to more than just me. Did you get a lot of heat when she said that? Um, some people said something and I posted a video about it, but I've never heard from her about it. Okay, so water under the bridge. Mm, until we see each other and then I'll ask her why she really doesn't like me and then I'll have a real reason why she doesn't like me. Oh, do you have a hypothesis? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay. I like to think that it's just because I'm doing well at the moment that, you know, there's some tension there, but who knows? It's always hard with girls in your same weight division. Sure. Everyone always has a feeling about it, you know? Are you saying it's on site? When you see her, you're not saying that. No, I okay. mean, I'm just going to ask her. I'm going to walk up and ask her what's going I, on. I respect I that. would never fight her for free when I could get paid to do it. So, you know, it's pretty easy. We fight for the same promotion and the same weight division. And if there's a problem, then we can fight. Uh, are you still feeling, you know, it seemed like the last time we spoke, you wanted the slow build. But I feel like you win on Saturday in a big way on a big card. It's going to be hard to, and, and considering Valentina has fought all the, you know, number one through number eight, I think already, and beaten them pretty convincingly, it's going to be tough to avoid the uh, the fast build, so to speak. How, how do you feel now? Yeah, I'm still happy to slow build, um, but obviously I can't say no when Mick calls the phone. Every time he's called, I've sort of answered and been like, okay, you know, we can do that. But I just want to fight as many times as possible and get as much experience. So um, however that ends up playing out, I guess is the way that it's going to be. But in my like perfect world, I would fight everybody in the top 15 before I got there. Mm. I don't know if you're going to have enough time. I mean, Valentina has no one to fight. I know. I know. We'll see what happens. But I still think I'm a couple of years away from being ready for that just because of my uh, experience. Yeah. No, I, I, I think they should respect that, not push you before you're feeling 100% ready. That would be... Yeah. A little, I mean, I'm sure they will. I mean, Mick's always been great with me, you know. Um, not that I've needed to say no to anything, but he seems like he understands my path and understands where I'm at, and you know, has done really well for me and helped me become who I am, helped me build, and helped me get uh, 
good fights for myself. Last time you were on the show, you were like, oh, you know, I'm not sure about the next one. And then like a day later, a story comes out about Macy Barber fight. You totally, you never mentioned that. Yeah, I know. I mean, they called me Weird. about it and then I was really, I was thinking it over. I was thinking it over because as I said, I don't like to say no to things, but I had a couple injuries coming out of one of those fights and um, just wasn't smart to take that fight straight away. But, you know, I'd still love that fight one time down the road as well. Um, and so now you're all good. Yeah, I'm great. I'm a little surprised. Good. I'm a little surprised we're on the prelims. If I'm being honest, it doesn't really matter. But f- f- I thought I was going to be on the main card too. But um, there's a lot of good fights on there. Once they put Ty and Derek Lewis on there, I kind of figured that I was going to get pushed to the prelims. So I'm not mad about it. I'm still getting to fight on an amazing card and still getting to be a part of the whole atmosphere and. After my performance on Saturday, there'll be no choice but to put me on main cards after it. So, you know, I'll make my case on Saturday. Casey will make her case. Casey will make her case. Man, you walk walk out with the uh, Venom gear and you had the Thug No shirt under the Venom gear on your way to the cage. I think that would go over really well. Do you reckon I would get fined for that? No. (laughs) If not, I'll pay the fine. I'll pay the fine. Okay. Okay. Deal. Okay. You got it. Um, yeah. Well, Casey, I'm very excited about this. Thanks for coming on. We, I think we cleared a lot of different things up. Uh, I think we're in a good place now. And uh, very excited. We also found out last time, right before, I think you just signed off, that you're born on October 7th. Yeah. So, I mean, 10-7. You, you are, I mean, you are the face of the 10-7 spirit, movement. So like it. It's an amazing yeah. thing. Um, we're not drinking. We're sober in 2022. Sure, we lost a tooth, but that's not a big deal. We learn, we live and learn, we win or learn. And uh, you, you're going to go paint your nails pink and black for the MMA hour nope, crew. Nope, just pink. Just pink, but yeah. fluorescent pink. pink. And you're going to wear the shirt yeah. at a fight week activity this week in Houston. Yeah, you got it. All right. I'll wear it on uh, on media day for you. Oh, my Get gosh. a lot of you. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be incredible. That's going to be the most watched video. Thank you so much. Good luck to you, Casey. Looking forward to the fight. And uh, safe travels to Houston tomorrow. Thanks, Aria. Keep All right. talking. Talk to you later. There she is, King Casey O'Neill, um, who I'm still like I still don't even know. I f- I still feel like she hates me. I, I I don't know. I just think that's her uh, general demeanor. But uh, one of the rising stars.